the friends. Guess what? I'm so excited. In this video, I'm making a low calorie McDonald's chocolatey pretzel McFlurry. When McDonald's brought it out a few days ago, I wanted one, but you can't get them in where I live, in Ontario, Canada. And when I seen a regular size McFlurry of this kind is 670 calories, I'm dieting right now to get like lean but not mean for summer, and that's over half my daily calorie intake. So I thought, well, that may be tasty, but a regular size McFlurry for that many calories really isn't that big. It wouldn't keep me full, and it's way too many calories for me to eat anything else, and not really much protein. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make one lower calorie, higher volume, gonna be a minimum of double the volume of the regular McFlurry, maybe even triple. It's gonna have more protein, and it's gonna have less fat, and it's gonna be just as tasty. experiment to like you know most of my recipes are so you're gonna come along the journey and we're gonna see what it's like then at the end of the video I'm gonna tell you the macros for the McDonald's one and the macros for mine so you can see how many calories and that you're gonna save with mine let's do it so if you don't know what the chocolatey pretzel McFlurry is it's vanilla soft serve it has a caramel swirl, like a caramel sauce swirl, and then it's got chocolatey coated pretzel pieces throughout. So we're gonna start by making some lower calorie chocolatey pretzel pieces. These are my favorite, the rolled gold pretzel sticks. You get a ton of them for a lot less calories than like the twisty style and stuff. So I'm gonna weigh out three grams of these. All right, so there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop these up. I think this is gonna be the best way to like coat them because I wanna have chocolate, but we're gonna use, you know, just a little bit so that we get the taste, but that it's still gonna be low calorie. Beautiful. Now we're gonna get my chocolate measured out. So I'm gonna use the Hershey's mini chocolate chips. I love these because again, you get a lot of them for a little bit of calories because they're small. So it gives you kind of like the idea that you're getting way more, which that's what I'm always going for, more volume for less calories. So I'm gonna use half a tablespoon and I'm pouring it in a microwave safe bowl. And then I'm gonna take a quarter teaspoon of coconut oil and put it in the microwave 30 seconds at a time and stir it until it's completely melted. So we'll go like that. There we go, get that in the microwave. We'll just finish stirring that up. So I did 30 seconds, stirred another 30 seconds and it's completely melted now. So. I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of what I think is gonna be the best way to do this. I'm literally just gonna go, ha hoo, toss them around in this chocolate, and then put it on a parchment paper, sprinkle it around on parchment paper. I'm gonna throw this in the freezer to get it to harden while I make the ice cream base. And I think that's gonna give me lots of chocolate coated pretzel pieces to go on the top. And then we'll have like little chocolatey bings to break off too. What do you think about that? Yeah. Let's do it. Freeze it up. Now we're gonna make the base. So we're gonna start with some non-dairy milk. This is the Silk Almond Unsweetened Vanilla. I really like this one because it's like creamy. So we're gonna pour that into the blender bottom. And then I'm gonna be using fruit, frozen fruit, because it's gonna give us the ice creamy texture without all the calories of like the cream and the milk and all that stuff. But I wanna use fruit because it's a vanilla soft serve. So the McDonald's McFlurry, it's a vanilla soft serve like I said. I wanna use fruit that's not super powerful so it doesn't overtake the taste. So I'm gonna use half a cup of frozen peaches. There we 
go. Put that in. I think do a couple more there. Then I'm gonna do bananas. Frozen banana slices. Bananas make really good creamy ice cream, but if you use too many, they get really high calories. So I'm gonna do half a cup of the bananas. And as you can <laughs> see, we like to do a overflowing half cup. An over, I can't let you, ooh, <laughs> there's one, ooh, there's one, yeah. An overflowing half cup, there we go. Blink that in there. And then one cup of strawberries. Strawberries are like super low in calories, so I like using those. And adding the protein powder and stuff we're gonna add, it's not gonna overtake the taste. So I'm gonna do a full cup of frozen strawberries. Like that. And then now, I'm gonna add the flavor and the protein. So we're gonna do vanilla fat-free pudding. In Canada, when it says fat-free, it also is sugar-free, just so you know. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of this because if you add a lot, it could add calories, but this will help add the flavor without a ton. We're gonna do one tablespoon of this. Come on, honey. <clears throat> Open up. Okay, let's pour it in. Yeah, we're heapers in this house, like, when we do half cups and things, they're usually heapers, and that's, we're cool with that, like being heapers. Now, we're gonna use protein powder to increase the protein. You can use vanilla. However, I'm gonna do huddled, harder than last time, vanilla peanut butter whey protein, because I think the peanut butter flavor in this is gonna just amp the flavor up like no one's business. You can use vanilla, but if you got a chance to use the Hoodle, the link is down below. I am sponsored by Hoodle. Of course, that's what I call it. <laughs> Harder than last time is what it's really called. So a scoop of that, and now five ice cubes. I'm gonna blend this up on high in about three to five minutes, and I'm gonna scrape the sides down, stop it and scrape the sides down several times. I like to use a butter knife to scrape. Um, it might scratch the sides of your blender, but I'm cool with that. All right, presto change, you guys, let's do it. Do it up. All right, the friends, look at that. That is at least double the size of a regular McFlurry. I'm even gonna think maybe three. And look how thick and creamy it is. Watch this. I bet you Greg Doucette will be proud. Pretty amazing. Now let's balloon this out. That means let's put it in the bowl. <laughs> put it in the bowl. Put it in the bowl. Wow! My name's Nicole. Put it in the bowl. I'm editing that out. <laughs> no, leave it in. It's cute. Let's lick this now. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. The flavors are on fire. Oh, and yes, this is the caramel swirl action that we're gonna use. This is the Smucker's Sunday Syrup caramel flavor. It's fat-free with no sugar added. For friends that are in Canada, like Sassy and I, we got this on Amazon. Not sponsored, that's just where we found it. I'm gonna do a tablespoon. And Sassy, you're really good with making things look cute. How do you think I should do this? Like, kind of just drizzle it around? Maybe like a start with an outward circle and work your way in. Okay. I don't know how drippy this stuff is, so let's... Oh, looks oh. good. Oh, there she swirls like a swirler, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> look at how great they look. All right, now we're gonna just break it up and sprinkle it on chocolatey oh, yeah. caramel pretzels wow okay let's take a little bit of cream and a little bit of this and caramel and pretzels ready oh my gosh wow you do taste the strawberries a little bit but 
all the other flavors come through, that is gonna get out my craving, keep me full, and allow me to not be sad about McDonald's not having it here because I got my own. Now listen to this. Okay, McDonald's regular chocolatey pretzel McFlurry. 670 calories, 19 grams of fat, 109 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein. This one right here, mine, it's like double or triple the size for 413 calories, six grams of fat, Whoa. 63 grams of carbs, and 26 grams of protein. You are saving 257 calories, 13 grams of fat, and 11 grams of protein is being added. And this one's as big as your head at least. Yep, and the friends, the calories of course are an estimate, so don't take them, do your own calculations, but I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years because I give myself cool treats like that and it allows me to stay on track. If you wanna know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, I got two weight loss guides, check them out, the links are down below. I have a brand new guilt-free cookbook that has really tasty recipes, kinda like that one, in there. Link is down there. If you want some hot old protein, I got the links down there too. I hope you enjoyed this. Let us know if you make it and have a beautiful day. I'm gonna go eat my ice cream and celebrate because <laughs> I'm a Nick Flurry girl in a Nick Flurry world. I made that up. See ya. Bye guys, love you. I can get lean but not mean and eat ice cream all day, Seth. Isn't that cute? Oh, I'm having one right after we turn the camera off. Wow! It's so cute! Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't 